to help us here tonight, um, just give us some information around what work has been done around diversity and integration. And if we have questions or if we need help from those that are able to give us the help is Sergeant Dermot Delani. He's from the Garda National Diversity and Integration Office. And he'll be speaking to us just, um, like I said, to tell us about the work that they do. And if we do need help, yeah, we know where to go. Thank you very much. Um, I'm delighted to be here. I'd like to thank Peter for the, the invitation. Um, my only complaint is that I wish I was before the last speaker, because um, I'm certainly not going to be as impressive as, as she was and as, as passionate as, as she sounded. I brought my laptop with me. I had loads of nice slides with loads of information. And having listened to the people that have spoken already, I've decided to put it away. Um, I think you'll, appre you'll appreciate that even if you don't know what was on it. Um, my own background, um, I was recently promoted um, to the rank of sergeant and thank you. I think the only round of applause I got for that was from my own mammy. Um, she was delighted. And I found myself being um, I've been appointed as the sergeant in, in charge of the Garda National Diversity and Integration Unit. Um, some of the people here will know my predecessor, Sergeant Dave McInerney. He was in the role for, I think, 20 years or, or close enough. And they're really, really big boots to fill. And it's, it's, it's a little bit daunting. Um, but I can assure you I'm, I am passionate about trying to fill that role. Um, in the context of International Women's Day, um, it, as we were speaking earlier, it reminded me of earlier in my career. Um, I was policing in around the city centre, and there was a particular group of kids causing trouble. Um, they were engaging in crime and, and assaults and, and, and things like that. There was one in particular that would put it up to us every time we kind of entered that that area, and as it happened. I had cause to interact with that part, and he was a child at the time, he was 16 or 17, with his mother in relation to something else. And as it happened, um, I recorded her number in my phone. So one day we rolled up and he was putting it up to us and they had been engaging in, in anti-social behaviour and he was being the tough guy. And as he was giving us the verbals, I took her my phone. And he goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm ringing your mother. And he backed down. And then I told his mother what he was doing. And from that day on, every time I encountered that individual, I just waved my phone at him. <laughs> the mummies are very, very good police people. <laughs> and they are a resource to be utilized in terms of dealing with these issues. Um, in, in the diversity office, um, my role, I suppose, is to, well, I have lots of different roles, but one of them is to engage with the representatives from my diverse communities. Um, I'm early in my, in my days here, so I'm as much here to, to listen and to learn as I am to, to tell you what, what your issues are. It's not for me to tell you what your concerns are. Um, some of the concerns I'm hearing um, echo what, what happens in my house. I have four young kids. My eldest is 12. Um, recently he was out with his friends, or supposedly out with his friends, and we, we found out that he wasn't with who he was supposed to be with. Um, myself and my wife were worried about that. Who, who, was, who was he with? So I went looking for him, and I found him. And he was with a girl. <laughs> well, I can appreciate where you're coming from. When your kids are outside and you're wondering who they're with, um, what are those other kids like? Are they being led down the wrong path? Um, it's important that, that as parents we parent our kids and that we, we try our best to find out who they're with, to steer them away, away from bad behaviour and, and towards good behaviour. But that's, that's a huge challenge and it's one I, I, I know from, from experience. 
Um, the Gardaí, we, we have a job to do, and that's to, on the one hand, it's to enforce law and order. We are policemen and women, and, and that's our job. Um, but we believe in policing by consent, and that means working with our communities. Crime prevention to us is more important than detecting crime or solving crime as important. Working with the communities to prevent future difficulties. It's, it's, not, it's very difficult to measure our success in that, but that doesn't mean we don't try. We don't get the credit for it when we do it well, because we can't say, here's how many crimes we've prevented over the last number of years. We can say, here's how many people we've arrested. But we'll never be out of business. <laughs> we, we don't need to worry about arrests, because they're always going to be there to, to be made. Preventing crime means the resources that we do have don't, don't get stretched beyond, beyond our capability. And that's, that's hugely, hugely important for us. Um, 